invitation to the uh, the meeting and uh, uh, greetings from the from the FBU. Um, and I'll, I will quickly say some things about my uh, union and our relationship with the Labour Party. I know you've got sort of slightly different uh, history, different traditions than we might have, and, uh, but it's worth sharing some of those uh, experiences. The FBU uh, affiliated to the Labour Party in 1927. Uh, and was affiliated all that time. It was part of, you like, part of our normal culture, part of our politics to be affiliated to the Labour Party. Uh, but uh, the, throughout the, the 1980s and 90s, we had growing problems, particularly with the uh, Labour-run um, uh, fire authorities. So the fire service is a, a local government uh, service. Uh, so it's run generally, not everywhere, but generally by councillors. And we had a number of issues and disputes with uh, Labour councillors and a growing frustration at, uh, at Labour in, in our union, which probably in different ways was reflected in your own union, in, uh, in, in elsewhere in the Labour movement as well. And then in 2002, you may recall, we, we launched a, a pay campaign under the Blair government uh, and we were absolutely lambasted. Uh, one Scottish Labour politician, he did apologise later, but he called us fascists for daring to uh, launch a strike ballot. Uh, and the then uh, Minister for Fire, Nick Rainsford, leading Labour politician, described us as criminally irresponsible for voting uh, to strike. Uh, and we, and uh, 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 many of our people had been through struggles, but a whole layer of people had never experienced the sort of degree of hostility that they had in the press but part and parcel of it being uh, from Labour as well. And they quite rightly said, well, hang about, we're paying a political fund, we're paying an affiliation fee to this party that is stabbing us in the back, to be blunt. That was the, the, the view of people at the time. <laughs> and in 2004, we had a, a debate at our conference. And uh, actually, the posi I had a slightly different position personally, but the position that were, there were a number of options that were put and de uh, debated on. I suppose my position would have got us expelled rather than uh, disaffiliate. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, the uh, position, clearly, whatever the outcome was, it to me reflected the, a democratic view, view that had been uh, voted on across uh, our membership. And we voted in 2004 to disaffiliate. Uh, now, between 2004 and, uh, and last year, we still, nevertheless, uh, we, we campaign politically, we've always had a political fund, we had a uh, political group, as you, as you do, we had a parliamentary group. The person who helped found our parliamentary group was John McDonnell, uh, and one of, the, uh, one of the founder members is Jeremy Corbyn. In fact, we've got a picture of Corbyn on our uh, first ever national strike on a picket line in 1977. Uh, and we presented him with a 25-year badge, uh, which we normally only go to members, but to, uh, several years ago uh, at our, our executive. So our members and our activists know Jeremy Corbyn and know uh, John McDonnell. We've also been in battles with Labour uh, politicians at local government level and with the Labour government under Tony uh, Blair. And I think that reflected a lot of, uh, a lot of experience of trade unionists under that uh, period, and that's a frustration. Uh, of, of uh, the, 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 the years of uh, new Labour government, the failure to repeal the, the uh, anti-union laws, which you know is now, if you think about the, uh, the Tory trade union bill, actually they couldn't have, if, if Labour had done anything about it under the, under the Blair Brown years, actually the Tories would have been starting from a different place. They were starting where they left off last time and were able to go <laughs> forward from there. So we, we never forget uh, 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 what, what happened under, those, under that period. Um, and we've also, as a union, when John McDonnell stood for the leadership, uh, um, I can't remember when, several years ago, we backed, uh, we backed John uh, in that campaign as well, despite not being affiliated to the Labour Party uh, at the time. And uh, what happened uh, this time, when, uh, when uh, the Labour leadership uh, was the campaign was announced. I'll just make one point on that. I went to a meeting of, uh, I won't say which meeting, but certain senior trade union leaders uh, straight after the general election, where people were very clearly saying, from Labour affiliated unions, well, let's be clear, this isn't just five years, the Tories will now be in power for at least 10 years. So that was the perspective of, of uh, it might be a valid assessment. 
That, but that was the assessment of key people in the trade union movement straight after the general election uh, of, of 2015. So the idea, by the way, that everything was going to be rosy until they put Jeremy Corbyn in is utter nonsense. The idea that anyone can blame Jeremy Corbyn for Labour's performance in Scotland is utter uh, nonsense as well. So straight after that, they obviously announced this leadership uh, uh, election and they came up with this bizarre voting procedure, which was, if you think about it, was designed to stop the troublemaking activists from having too much of a role by you open it up, you let all the ordinary people come in and they're going to vote for the sensible candidates. And I remember at our executive speaking to our president uh, and said, you know, we, we, uh, this is coming up, we need to back uh, Jeremy. I, I think I said something like, he hasn't got a hope in hell, but, <laughs> but it's the right thing to do. And our executive, there was no uh, opposition. And very quickly, something began to change, didn't it? Because, you know, I, for that first uh, anti-austerity demo, I spoke at the start of that demonstration, mentioned Corbyn's campaign, and there was a huge echo for it. And you saw those meetings up and down the country where uh, a thousand people in Hartlepool on a Wednesday night or whatever, and people tell you people don't go to political meetings. And the fate, I think a fantastic picture in the Camden meeting at the end of two teenagers trying to break into a building, but they were breaking into a political meeting. And that's the sort of thing that I think really ignited a spark with, uh, with people. Uh, and then uh, to see that the, the day that Jeremy Corbyn won that election, I think was absolutely uh, fantastic. And interestingly, in our union, we very quickly uh, had started to have discussions because it was obvious what's going on. Every single day in the press, there is a relentless attack on Corbyn and Macdonald. Every Monday night, to be frank, in the Parliamentary Labour Party, there is outrageous attacks and abuse. And they talk about bullying. That's where attempted bullying is going on, from what you hear in the press reports. Uh, you see, as I just mentioned at another meeting, uh, when generals are going on the telly on a Sunday morning to say what a threat to security Jeremy Corbyn is, then something is pretty fundamental, you know, that you can see the scale of the campaign is going to be launched against him. And we had a discussion, we said, actually, we should discuss reaffiliating to the Labour Party. We called a special conference last year, and I expected a much, much bigger debate. I think the mood of most of our activists, not everywhere, but most of our activists was, get on with it, get in there, affiliate. Because we're, and we said, to, to be clear, we're going in, we're not going in to keep quiet, we're going in to defend Corbyn, we're going in to fight for socialist policies, we're going in to fight for left-wing policies, we're going in to fight for our union's policies, and we're going in to, uh, to, to say that we want people in Parliament, in local councils, who will stand up and fight for us. And that's the agenda the FBU has, has affiliated to Labour on. And then uh, we've also discussed the question uh, that, that you're here to discuss tonight, and that's the question of momentum. Uh, the, there are various strands in the Labour left, uh, and out of the Jeremy Corbyn campaign came this discussion about forming a, a, a broader organisation, network, whatever we want to call it, that's, been, that's now called Momentum. Uh, and again, my union has affiliated to Momentum. Uh, I think we're the first union to affiliate. There are now two national unions who have affiliated to Momentum. And we're doing it again on the basis of what I just said. If we're going to fight to defend Jeremy Corbyn and McDonnell, but also, not, it's not about personalities, by the way, if we're going to fight to defend the policies that we want to see in the Labour Party, if we're going to fight to defend the policies we want to see in local government or whatever else, and we, then we need to be in there and we need to be organised. Because I tell you what, the people on the right wing of the Labour Party are massively well organised and well funded. They've got Progress and they've got other organisations and they have lots and lots of money. And the only way, if someone's organising against you, the only way to fight back is to be better organised. And I think that's where momentum comes in. Now, I'll be frank, and uh, I think Dean has been through some of these discussions, you know, sometimes founding a new organisation on the left is difficult. It's a bit of a mess, to be frank. I've been massively frustrated. You know, the, uh, there's been all sorts of debates involving the unions. There's been all sorts of debates at local groups. Yes, and, and uh, there may be people who say, yes, but it's done this. It, yeah, there is, there is a mess in some ways. But the point is this. The election of Corbyn has sparked something that gives us the chance of making a sh fundamental shift in British politics to allow us to put on the political agenda things that have been knocked off the agenda for 35 plus years. 
the ideas of trade union rights, the ideas of public ownership, the ideas of a different type of society and a different type of economy. That is a fantastic opportunity that we shouldn't let pass us by. I think momentum, battling in the Labour Party and beyond, gives us the opportunity to do it. As I say, I, I mean, you, you, I understand there's a motion on your uh, order paper. That's your business as a union, that's not my business. What I will say as a union is affiliated to momentum and a union is <coughs> affiliated to the Labour Party is this, and I, I left with that, see eye to eye with you on many, many issues is this, that actually this struggle is a really serious struggle and we need as many allies in it as possible and we need to be as well organised as possible. So I suppose if I can slightly interfere in PCS business, I would make an appeal to people to get involved in Momentum but also to discuss what your union does to support those of us who are having that fight. I think the PCS could play a, a fantastic role with your experience, your anti-austerity campaign, you could play an absolutely fantastic role in helping set the agenda in momentum and therefore challenging the attacks on Corbyn and Macdonald and actually starting to set the agenda about what might happen uh, in politics locally and nationally. Thanks very much.